Hi there, how you doing? It's Adrian McGivern here. I'm just taking a few minutes to make this very short introduction video to help um, you understand better what marketing is and how your business could benefit from it. Um, it's often thought of in negative terms that marketing is simply a, a, um, a waste of money and it's, it's only for big businesses and that um, you don't need to do marketing at all. Anyway, um, with that said, get straight into it. What is marketing? Well, um, it might be easier to tell you what it's not. Marketing is not just advertising. Um, a lot of business owners think that uh, marketing is, is simply you know putting an ad in the paper or making a few flyers to, to advertise your business. But advertising on its own is one aspect of marketing and not the other way around. They're not, not the same thing at all. Marketing is everything that you do to attract customers, leads, inquiries, referrals, repeat business to your into your business. So it's everything you do to attract customers. Um, we, we often think, as I said, that advertising is simply limited or marketing is simply limited to advertising. But the bigger picture is marketing is anything that you do you know, from big businesses and, and medium-sized businesses who do TV advertising and billboards, um, sponsorship of, of sports teams, pictures on the backs of buses, you know, that's all marketing, down to what most small businesses we're more familiar with might be to um, making sales calls, so calling out to see prospective customers if you're, you know, if you sell into business to business, um, if you're selling to the public, could be putting flyers and business cards and coffee shops and notice boards around, you know, your community. Um, it could be you know, many of us would have a website, and a website on its own is an aspect of marketing. But um, there's different means of promoting that website, such as you know, getting listed in Google, Google Maps, um, being you know, spending some money on Google AdWords, paid advertising on Google AdWords, or display advertising. Um, from Facebook, having a Facebook business page and posting to it, you know, to interact with your customers is, is marketing. As is, you know, if a lot of people will be familiar with boosting a post on their business page. So we pay a few pounds to, to try and get um, more people to, to see your, your, your post on, on Facebook. Another aspect of Facebook advertising, which most people aren't familiar with, is paid advertising. So it's actually running um, sponsored ads in, in Facebook. Another form would be um, your, if you're doing you know, cold calling, outbound phone sales would be um, an aspect of marketing that many of us are familiar with and maybe leaves us with a bit of a sour taste. If we've got the phone calls from you know, the mobile phone companies, or if you're if you have a um, if you run a fleet of vans or trucks in your business or cars, you probably have phone calls from um, from companies who supply fuel. Insurance companies would often make outbound cold calls. So they're all aspects of marketing that they're trying to do to create business opportunities, create sales opportunities. Um, another thing that marketing is good for, and I suppose it's, off, it's not very often thought about, is it can be used to repel unsuitable customers or repel unsuitable inquiries. So you know, if, if you're um, selling an expensive product um, or what you consider a high quality product that you, know, you might not consider it expensive, you might think that you're actually providing very good value, you'll always attract um, inquiries or, or, or prospects who wanted for less, and or who wanted for less than maybe what you can afford to sell it for. So um, marketing can be used to help repel those types of inquiries which are otherwise a waste of your time and resources, a distraction. Um, marketing can be used as, as a tool to position you in the market. So what I mean by that is in any industry or any um, nation and industry, there's there's a range of, um, of suppliers or competitors from the very cheap at one end to the very expensive and premium at the other premium at the other end and everyone in between so you know i don't know where your position is in that market but marketing can be used to to, to establish and to bolster your position to to um to justify or help to, to help to justify your your price and your um to put forward your quality of your product or your service so it can be used for positioning um marketing also it, it really what it does is it delivers opportunities to sales so um, even a small business, you might think that you know you are you are the the business owner, um, the the person who makes the sale, who delivers the product. You know, you're operating on your own, and you're trying to, trying to do everything alone. So you, you don't you might not consider that you have um, a marketing 
aspect and the sales aspect. You may think that it's all the one, but sometimes it's useful to try and mentally separate the two aspects that um, what you do in, in the marketing of your business really creates the opportunities for you to sell because um, sales on its own can be push, 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 where marketing helps to attract people to you and it can also be used to to bolster or to, to support your, your outbound sales and your push aspect of your sales. So, you know, it's not, certainly if you think of it in those terms, it's definitely not a waste of time or a waste of money. Many of us would think that the, the money aspect is more important than the time aspect, but you know, without being smart about it, you can always make more money, but you cannot make more time. So there's two things to be considered. Um, lastly, last thing I want to say on this is there's a quote that I like, and I'm not trying to be all flowery by producing a quote, but um, the, the guy who might be considered the, the father of modern marketing, Peter Drucker, said that any business, the two aspects of the business that are most important is marketing and innovation, and everything else is deliverable. But if you think about it that way, you know, the marketing is the thing that creates opportunities. It basically finds a niche that you can occupy in a market and one that you can do so profitably or you want to do so profitably. And um, so marketing creates the opportunities and, and, and supports the, the attraction of customers to you. And innovation is the other part that he said, you know, innovation can be considered in terms of your product or service, trying to make your, your business different so that you're not being compared to on price. And also innovation in terms of marketing so thinking of different ways of, of attracting people to you. So it's not, you know, you may think that you're in a, in a particular industry and you look at what everybody else does and you think that you probably should be doing the same. So if everyone else is advertising in the newspaper, you think that you should probably advertise in the newspaper. But there's, you know, maybe thinking outside of, of the, the box of this well-worn term, but thinking differently, you know, might be the way to separate yourself from the herd. Anyway, that's really what I wanted to say. The last thing is, you know, it's, it's probably a good idea at this point to think about what marketing you do for your business and maybe take a few minutes and make a list of the different things. So do you do outbound sales? Do you do you know, cold calling? Do you do advertising? And if so, make a list of the different forms of advertising that you do and all the different ways that you might, um, you know, if you, if you actively um, seek referrals, so what do you do to, to, to look for referrals? If you actively seek repeat business, what is it that you're actually doing to, to get re repeat business? And you know, everyone said would say that they do, you know, doing a good job is the best form of marketing. Yes, it, it is a very important form of marketing, but on its own, um, you're leaving that thing with the chance. So this this really, this little series of videos is, is to help you to think about the, the other opportunities that exist that might help you and um, to make, to help stop you thinking about leaving everything to chance and that you know there are um, low cost effective forms of, of marketing that you could be doing for your business um, and that it should everything that you do think about it in terms of, of return on your investment so you know you may think that ROI is for big businesses that it's only a cost but if you think about marketing as a, a vending machine that's probably the best way of describing it that um, if you think about it every time you put a pound into the vending machine or a euro into the vending machine your marketing should bring back multiples of that so you know um if you think about wouldn't you like to be able to put a pound into a vending machine that gives you 10 pounds back or put a euro into a vending machine that gives you 10 pounds back that'd be a nice um, thing to have well marketing is your money vending machine and you know, if, if we stop doing what everyone else does, just for, for a short, give yourself enough time to think about what you're doing, where you're spending your money, and, and think about maybe testing different opportunities and finding things that, that will drive um, more, maybe better quality customers or drive more sales or drive more repeat sales or referrals, um, that can all be considered a money vending machine. So marketing that makes you money. So that's really it for now. See you in the next video.